Hey, this is Lula, and this is the series where we look at the most expensive house for sale in each state. We are down in Lula, Mississippi today. Uh, if you couldn't tell by the, the magnolia tree artfully framed in the corner here, uh, which has brought us to this $10,500,000 six bed, five bath property. It's it's a little on the small side. I took, I took a peek because I, I was thinking maybe it was... Uh, you know, one of those larger compounds, multiple houses. It's it's a main house, and it's actually, it's a historical plantation, so get ready to get problematic. Uh, and then there's, there's like, some barns and, and out structures on the property, but it is, it is mainly just this. Uh, but it is, it's smaller, uh, obviously the lower price tag, but those... Those are southern dollars. You know, a southern dollar goes goes pretty darn far. So, you know, when when you see ten million dollars, you you think in in California, that's automatically like seventy minimum. The landscaping is a, a little janky. Like, what is with this dirt around here? Um, I, I the, some of the trees are empty. I can't tell if that's a seasonal thing. We got a pond down here. It does it does look like an old house. It's kind of like a, a log cabin, but it's it's enormous. And you can see where like this is the original house here, and then they've just added on to it a thousand times. Like this was an addition on that, and then that was an addition on that, and then they added stuff on the back and they added that on the back. I, that's this is the house that Jack built, and I'm I'm very excited to see how well or or not well those uh, different parts actually flow together. We got a little boat boathouse down on on the lake pond. I don't know where the line is between those. Got eons of monoculture grass. Excellent. We hate the bees. All right. This this is not monoculture. This is actual wild landscape here. All right. Respect to that. Yeah. Look at all that. That's that's a mess. And, and we got a little shed out here. They're just letting that grow wild. I respect that. I, th I think this is the driveway to the house. You're really set way in the back there. Ooh, natural splendor. We love natural splendor. We don't like that it's privately owned, but we do love it for itself. We got a silo out there. I don't know if you've ever seen a show that uses like the horror of the grain silo where the grain starts like falling on you. Apparently, those things are like incredibly dangerous. People die in them all the time. That's a fun fact for you. Uplifting. This channel is always uplifting. All right, here's the front of the, the old log cabin and you can see it's it has been through some different renditions. We got... Is this a brick house with faux wood siding on it? Because there's brick poking out here, and it looks like the wood siding is on top of it. That's hokey. If they put fake barn wood on the front of this to make it look more like a log cabin, that <laughs> that's stupid. That's really stupid. Oh my god, just let it be a brick house. This porch would be fine on a house with a lower price tag. For $10 million, you could have a railing. You could have a railing on these stairs. These stairs are shitty. The, you could get those built for like 200 bucks from like the guy down the street that does some woodwork sometimes. That's... We do have a porch swing. I love a porch swing. Yeah, the different textures here is just... You got this old brick. You got this brighter brick. You got the fake wood. You got the siding. It, there's a lot happening. I guess maybe that fits the vibe of the the house that Jack built. Yeah, that's definitely that's definitely a facade. That's so dumb. All right, we're inside. We've got oh, I bet that's a problematic ancestor. I bet he, you know, did the slavery and the war crimes and all of that. Great. We love to have him hanging over the fireplace. I hope the picture roasts. Um, let's see. Uh, the ceiling is beautiful. That's a, that's a gorgeous ceiling. I wish they had not cut these holes in it, however. Um, there, there is something about the South and really enabling, like, the old ladiest furniture you ever saw in your life. L like, 
it's like those those old school traditional gender roles that are are so much stricter there uh, but but the way that it manifests in interior design is that purchasing furniture is the woman's job and she buys pink winged armchairs <laughs> i you know what i i think i think that is perhaps uh perhaps women's way of fighting back against the patriarchy in the South. And one way that you can tell that this is an older house, and I, I promise I will move out of this room soon, but there's a lot to look at here. One way you can tell it's an older house is that there's not a kajillion windows. There's, there's two windows here, and that's about as much as you want in a space like this for energy efficiency if you're like in the olden times, and, and you got this fireplace in charge of heating the whole house. So this is the dining room, and it looks like we've got a little serving cab uh, cupboard or, or staging room or something set back here. We've got another fireplace on the other side, which uh, I, I did pick up an architecture book on, on a whim a while back, and I think it's called a hall and parlor house. It's like an old medieval style where they have fireplaces and, and chimneys on either end of the house to, to get everything warm enough in the winter. We've got the wood paneling on the walls too, which I, would be boxy, except it's, it's a very, they've let the wood be very rough. So there's a lot of detail in it. It's, it's not a monocolor wood. There's, there's variations in the tones, there's variations in the grain, and also they've got a lot going on with this furniture. The furniture has a lot of character. Um, it's, it's got scuffs, it's old. Um, I, I like that. And they've also done, this isn't, this isn't like classy or done anymore, really, unless you're, you're going for a historical touch. They've controlled the height of of the chandelier by by hooking it here you didn't normally just let it hang uh from the the wiring there because that's not great for it you'd, you'd hook it off to the side like that oh there's a dog statue all right we, we got animal lovers oh there's dogs in this picture too we definitely got animal lovers here um we we've got this this wood paneling looks a little more new like this is trying to look historical uh those you know the the gaps that that seems a little then i don't know it, it might be it we know that this is an old house 1850 this house was built in 1850 and uh so those those might be genuine historical touches there you see that they they're not buying into the furniture symmetry the, uh, each one of these pieces of furniture was haphazardly col collected over many years. Oh, there's a second dog statue on the... Oh, wow. The dogs are going to be a thing, aren't they? Okay, this, this though, is weird to me. This little stool at the table. This is meant to be like a coffee table. You just put a desk in the middle of the room. As if it was a... Co That's... That doesn't make any sense. Also, that is a shitty, beat-up-looking recliner. That's that's a recliner that is is mostly someone's skin cells at this point. Someone has decayed into that chair over many years. You could have taken that out before the pictures. This is another very historical-looking room. Yeah, but see, they, these look like flat walls, and this is just this is facade wood. Okay, I've I've made up my mind. This is not original wood on here. It might be like reclaimed from a proper from something on the property, maybe. But this is just tacked on as a facade. Um, I I don't know how I feel about that. If a close look at it didn't make it very clear to me that it's just tacked on as a facade, I would say, oh, that's you know a, a creative way to to I don't know maintain the history of the house. But you can very clearly see what it is. We also have a, a horde of hat boxes, a horde of jars, big old lazy Susan on the table with mismatched chairs. I, I, I'm wondering, like, are the chairs mismatched because they were trying to just go with, like, old antique chairs? Or are they mismatched because they, they like, literally weren't paying attention and didn't care? Also, 
If these are historical old chairs, you're allowed to fix them up. You are. You give them a give them a sand and a and an and oil. It's good for them. Also, I love how this track lighting up here plays in with the historical uh, look. That's very classy. Here's the kitchen, which is looking decidedly more modern compared to the other spaces. The, the chair is disgusting. What? You clean it up, sand it, repaint it. It looks it looks like it got dragged through a tar pit. This is the most extra fruit bowl I've ever. It's a fruit platter. Is that that lime is molded? Get your lives together, people. Why is there a single orange atop the second tier? Oh my. Got serving platters mounted on the wall as if they are art pieces. A second one, we've got a, a man that I'm sure was quite racist back in his day. Baskets hanging from the seal. What? What is the theme here? I'm so confused. All right, and then we look out onto this very modern looking porch. All right. Here's another view on the kitchen. What are these? Are those rocks or is that rotted fruit? Maybe it's potatoes. This might be, oh, I think this is a continuation because I saw that chair. Yeah, this chair. So then this is like the modern kitchen that is a continuation off, I guess, the historical kitchen that doesn't actually have any appliances in it anymore um so they they didn't want to i guess disrupt the historical features I, I don't know how i feel about that i i mean i guess it's preserving something this this floor is very cool i i love that floor detail yet we've still got like these old copper pots on on the stove on this very modern space age stove. Okay. That refrigerator, I can't tell if that refrigerator has been allowed to be an actual refrigerator or not. Let's see if we get another angle on it. All right, here's here's this weird sitting area off the kitchen, all very mismatched, kind of shoved in this corner here. This is strange. All these the the couch and the chairs have have shitty slip covers on them, which like, part of it is like, oh, that's kind of like a southern style, like a style that I, asso I associate with the South. I associate that with southern poverty. Y you know, this is, this is not southern poverty. This is the southern aristocracy. Uh, we got a TV here with a dog on it. We love dogs. Oh, God. And we got this strange conglomeration of plates mounted on the wall. Okay. Here we got a mud room. Oh, there's the dog. There's the dog we love so much. You see his cage door is open. Someone was probably trying to like coax him out like, hey, get out of the picture, buddy. And he was like, nope. I respect that. Um, got our washer dryer in here. We got our laundry sink. We got some sort of mess going on here. This is a, a DIY project gone horribly wrong. Why are you DIYing anything? Why can you not, why are you not shelling out the dough to get this fixed up before you take pictures of your house? Got another bathroom. This is not quite toilet prison. This is toilet and shower prison. Uh, this is, this is the room where you're allowed to take your pants off is what that room is. And then you must remain decent in this room. That's, that's the distinction. So you're, you're not just coordinating it off for the toilet. You are, you are coordinating it off for nudity because we are ashamed of our bodies. Little storage insets in the hallway are interesting. All right, we've got a bedroom and there's this weird table in it. Why? Why is that table? What, what purpose is it serving other than to make people stub their toes in the night? It's, it's so in the way, it's so large, it just doesn't belong here. You couldn't have just taken that out and put it in the hallway while you took pictures. Oh, we got a, we got a good old fashioned screened in porch. Uh, this is very, very Southern, I think. The, the wood is really rough. I mean, I, I feel like someone here 
thinks that that keeping things authentic and original means not taking care of it at all but that's i mean wood like this needs maintenance. that door that door has not seen any love in a very long time you, you got to take care of that shit it gets beat up over time it needs maintenance that's not like ruining the historicalness of it they they watch too too much antiques roadshow that's the problem they think this whole house is going to go on antiques roadshow no it's a house you're supposed to live in it you got to take care of it you don't worry about like oh you ruined the stain on the writing desk at the antiques roadshow shut up all right we got a view on the property looks like we got a garden maybe going on over here all right this is an upstairs space i'm not really sure where we're upstairs from we got some nice landscape art and a little sitting area over here only only the one window here so we might be in an older portion of the house and look at this they've they've drilled can lights into this beautiful wood ceiling that's a war crime i'm i'm calling geneva i want the convention to meet all right this room overdid it on the white They've, I mean, it's, it's a wood panel ceiling and they painted it white and they drilled cam lights into it. That's, it's cruel. It's breaking my heart. They've got this weird old fashioned writing desk with an oil lamp on it as if people are still doing that. What is happening? What is happening here? I... <sighs> okay, let me, let me digest this. Let me digest this. This is... First of all, a hotel room. We've got two beds. We got dueling beds so you can face off while you sleep. We've got this random ass treadmill in this space that you just didn't have anywhere else to fit it. We got this, some animals, uh, animal skulls mounted on the wall. Why? Oh, the, and the antlers next to them. Why? Why? Tell me. Uh, and then, of course, what is this weird elevated stage? This is like a stage where you were supposed to put on a play or something. What the shit is it? And they just stuck this couch on? So it could like look at, what are you looking at? Are you looking at the treadmill? And, and these stairs that go up to it are, those, those are portable temporary, there's not built in. So normally you just have this weird, window up to this stage here what is that space i'm so confused here's another angle on that room this is what you see when you're sitting on that weird ass couch you got beanbag chairs you got shutters on the inside here's the garden looks like it's mostly mostly kaput right now all right here's that back porch it looks I guess it looks a little more historical than it did from that window, but maybe that's because we got this wood. F I, this, this, I don't see the brick peeking out here. This might be actual wood siding, um, or it could be a facade. Who knows? I've, I've stopped trusting anything in this house. We've got a random pile of wood. That's, you, you have a over $10 million house. You couldn't afford to, to buy something to store the wood in. Really? You're just going to leave it out there? This is all so janky. You have the money. Pay to take care of this place. Here's another porch area. You got some good use of color here. I like that. I got a little fountain. You got a bell for some reason. It's an interesting property, like these, these brick paths that go through it and all of these green spaces. Um, it, it does look like a lot of space to keep up. You uh, also are wealthy, so you could just hire some landscapers. Maybe they're disgruntled because, you know, back in the old days, there were just people, you know, that did all this for free. <laughs> yeah, that porch was tacked on the back. Oh, we got an enclosure, and it, uh, judging by this stable back here, we've got horses. And we got a weird phallic monument. Who's buried there? Were they racist? I bet there's a racist buried there. That's why there's a wall around it, is to keep the, uh, the minorities out. Or maybe, maybe the wall is there to keep the spirit in, because it just, it kept saying offensive things to the living.
Hey, we got a big barn machine shop kind of deal. Oh, a nice path through the woods. Uh oh, there's the stables for the horses. Hello, horses. Oh, wow. This is an, an indoor horse. I don't, uh, is it a paddock? I don't know. This is where they, you know, in, in the movies, you, you got the wild horse that no one's going to be able to break, and then someone breaks the horse, and that's how you know they're the main character. That's what happens in here. This is a weird, gross alley to take a picture of. You could have just skipped that. There's the rest of it. All right, that's Mississippi. Uh, janky-ass place. You know what? The whole state is a janky-ass place, but I feel like a $10 million home in Mississippi could afford to step it up just a little bit. I get that it's a historical home. It has some interesting historical details. It's not being taken care of properly. It's, it's being neglected, and there's weird shit going on. It's been tacked onto over the years in incomprehensible ways. I, I'm going to be having nightmares about that weird couch room with the stairs and the treadmill. I don't know what that was. Oh, here it is again. Here, this is going to haunt my dreams. What the fuck is that? All right. Well, if you saw anything that I missed, if you are from Mississippi and uh, you don't think this has represented your proud culture, uh, feel free to leave me a comment. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and have a good one.